Welcome back again, my dear learners! We are here today for another lesson and we are now on Module 2, Lesson 1. We will be talking about Advanced Organizers, Venn Diagram, and Cause and Effect Diagram. So are you ready? If yes, let's go! Using textual aids like Advanced Organizers, is a great way for you to dissect and present information in a more comprehensible way. That's right! Everyone would agree that a text accompanied by illustrations or a graphical representation is easier to understand and follow compared to a full-page monotonous gray text. In short, Textual aids are used to present information or concepts that can be easily understood. So in this lesson, you will get to learn the different advanced organizers and their uses. And you will be engaging in different activities that will help you acquire the target skill you need to develop. So, after going through this lesson, you will be expected to first determine the effect of advanced organizers on the understanding of a text second illustrate concepts and ideas from a text using advanced organizers like venn diagram and cost and effect diagram and lastly appreciate the importance of graphic organizers in understanding a text as you face another learning journey, you will learn how to present information from a reading text through textual aids like advanced organizers, which also come in different forms. Before you begin the new lesson, take a look and review the concepts you learned in the previous lesson. Question. What sources of information did you learn that also guide you in your everyday life? Great answer! Now, it's time to begin a new journey. Have fun and enjoy the activities set for you. Let's have first our activities. Activity number one. You are going to study the illustration and answer the questions that follow. It's all about Facebook and Twitter. These are the questions that you need to answer based on the illustration letter A. What is the illustration all about? What kind of information is presented? What do you call the illustration? Does the illustration help you understand the information presented? Wow! You have a great answer! If your answer is an Example of advanced or graphic organizers, then it's correct. So what are advanced or graphic organizers? They are visual displays of key content information to facilitate understanding of ideas. Using them to present information helps construct knowledge for a better understanding of a text. Using diagrams is among the most common ways of organizing ideas and concepts. Among them are the Venn diagram and the cause and effect diagram. So, in our activity number one, letter A, if your answer is a Venn diagram, that's correct. What is Venn diagram? is commonly used in comparing and contrasting two or more ideas, concepts, characters, places, or things. 
This is useful in showing similarities and differences between or among ideas or concepts being presented. So based on our activity, number one, letter A, you had compared the similarities and differences of Facebook and Twitter. It uses circles where the overlapping portion contains the similarities while those outside the overlapping section are the differences. So take note of the Venn diagram. Look at these examples. Let's proceed to the cause and effect diagram or organizer. On our activity number one, letter B, if your answer is the cause and effect, then it's correct. What is this? It is used to illustrate cause and effect relationships. It is used to show why something happens or explain the effects of something. Meaning, it answers the question, why or what. It can be represented using different sh shapes and connection between ideas which can be indicated by the use of lines and arrows. So there are a lot of creative ways in illustrating cause and effect relationships depending on the concepts and ideas involved. Below are some examples. Now, it's time for you to practice your skill and solidify your understanding of the topic. You are going to read the text and answer the questions that follow. Are you ready? Kindly listen. The title of the text is How Barangay Came to Be. An interesting discovery made in Boot 1 in the early 70s was that a fossilized Balangay, which was a long sailing vessel in a common use throughout the Southeast Asian region in the pre Spanish era. The barangay as a form of government was believed to have originated from the Balangay. A Balangay had a hundred households at the most. It was led by a chieftain called Dato. Migrants from Malaysian and Indonesian islands came to our shores using the Balangan. Once here, they formed their own settlements, a cluster of which formed a single town ruled by Alakan or Sultan. A confederacy of several settlements would join forces in case of aggression. When the Spaniards came, they instituted the barangays as a form of local government headed by a cabeza. The change from balangay to barangay seemed to have been made by the Spaniards who could not pronounce the nasal ngua of the Filipinos and preferred the u to r. In the balangays of old, were meant to preserve the peaceful and harmonious relationships between neighboring settlements. The Spanish barangays was used as a local instrument of the central government to pursue its colonial goals. The source of this is from English Expressways 4. Now, I have these questions and kindly take down note on your assessment notebooks. Very good answers. Now, you're going to read the paragraph and make your own cause and effect diagram based on the text. May I read it to you? With COVID-19 pandemic becoming a threat to human existence, major changes have occurred in people's daily lives. Face masks and sanitizers became a necessity. Economic activities slowed down. 
entertainment and tourism came to a halt. Public transportation suspended its operation. Education sector delayed the opening of the school year. With this new situation, online activities have become a trend. Having online meetings and conferences is now a better option. With these changes, even when this crisis is over, people's lives will never be the same again. I want you to answer these questions based on the text. You are going to fill in the blanks or give the appropriate word that best completes the statement. Answer this on your assessment notebooks. Let's proceed. Did you already understand our lesson? Then, that's awesome! You are now ready for more learning adventure. Now, it's time for you to explore further! S okay! You are going to select and create to improve your research skill. First, similarities and differences between the Filipino youth of today and those of yesterday. That's the first option. Second option, cause and effect of COVID-19 pandemic. Third, comparison and contrast of your summer vacation last year and this year. And lastly, cause and effect of gaming addiction. Congratulations! You have done great today with our lesson about advanced organizers, Venn diagram, and the cost and effect diagram. I hope that you had understood all our discussion based on our activities. Once again, thank you for listening. This is your friendly teacher, Teacher AJ. God bless!